Buzzy, the Bumblebee, by Denise Brennan Nelson, and illustrated by Michael Glenn Monroe. One sunny day, in a beautiful garden, there sat a bumblebee named Buzzy. His stripes were black and yellow, and his coat was rather fuzzy. Buzzy liked to fly, like all bumblebees. He danced with the flowers and swayed with the breeze. He also liked to read and thought himself worldly and wise. So Buzzy was startled when he read, Bumblebees weren't made to fly. He read it over and over. Bumblebees weren't made to fly? According to studies and research, and it went on to explain why. Their wingspan is wrong and their bodies are too big. Buzzy was confused. He thought, I am not a pig. Buzzy couldn't believe what he read and kept thinking, can these facts be true? I've been flying all this time and I shouldn't have been able to? He tried to make his wings work by pumping with all of his might, but the words he had read were stuck in his head and now something wasn't right. Buzzy was stranded on top of a flower, longing to fly away. His heart still knew how, but his head had forgotten the way. Buzzy was scared. How will I get down now that I can't fly anymore? I'll have to climb down, he decided, something he'd never done before. With book and toe and little heart pounding, Buzzy tentatively took the first step. Then, very, very slowly, down the flower he crept. Buzzy's foot started to slip, and he felt himself letting go. Oh no! Thank goodness for a leaf. It helped cushion the blow. Dazed, Buzzy slowly sat up thinking, What should I do now? My home is so far away. I've got to get there somehow. Two dragonflies saw Buzzy walking, and they asked, What's wrong with you? Buzzy sadly told them, My flying days are through. They didn't understand his problem, because their wings worked just fine. Would you walk with me? Buzzy asked. No, thank you. They declined. Feeling very envious, and even a little mad, Buzzy had a funny feeling inside. He wanted what they had. Heavy-hearted, he trotted on, anxious to get home. Buzzy needed his family. He felt so all alone. Just then, Buzzy saw a stream and cried out in frustration. Now that I can't fly anymore, will I ever reach my destination? Every problem had a solution, his mother always said. Buzzy had to find an answer. He'd have to use his head. At that very moment, a flower petal drifted by. It gently floated to the river's edge as Buzzy let out a sigh. Buzzy had an idea. I need something that will float. Looking at the petal in the water, he thought, that could be my boat. He picked up a blue jay's feather and cautiously pushed himself out. When Buzzy realized the pedal would work, he gave a joyful shout. As he safely reached the other side, Buzzy was filled with relief. Until he saw the tall, tall grass and was suddenly overcome with grief. Sadly, he remembered the days when above the grass he would soar. Once again he thought, what will I do now that I can't fly anymore? Peering through the thick green grass, Buzzy thought, This just isn't fair. About to give up, he heard a voice say, Don't stop, you're almost there. He looked up to see where it came from, but his eyes met only the sun. Mustering all the energy he had left, Buzzy began to run. Buzzy burst through the door with a tear in his eye. Mom and Dad, 
Why didn't you tell me? Bumblebees weren't made to fly. Why, Buzzy, they said. You certainly can fly. Until now, that is. And do you know why? You're doubting yourself. Fear is blocking the way. Listen to your heart, Buzzy. Not to what others say. Ignore labels and limits. They seldom do good. They make you think you can't. When inside you know you could. Buzzy thought about what they had said. And knew his parents were right. It's belief in ourselves that helps us take flight. Quickly, Buzzy ran out the door and looked up at the sky. Bursting with confidence and desire, Buzzy shouted, I want to fly. Buzzy's wings fluttered and his spirit began to soar. Buzzy knew he would be all right. He would fly once more. And sure enough, Buzzy flew. And do you know why? By believing that he could, Buzzy was able to fly. <laughs>